Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Now, good afternoon, YouTube. I'm here with you this afternoon on a Wednesday afternoon. Two days later from when I worked on the uh, Pioneer receiver the other day. And thought I would take you back in and show you what I've been up to. I, I took it apart trying to uh, figure out the uh, about the uh, dial pointer. But as you'll see here shortly, it didn't work out so good. So I won't uh, keep you very long here. Just uh, want to show you how nice of a day it is today compared to the last time. Nice and sunny. Uh, highs in the, close to 50, I think. So, without further ado, let's go into the workbench. I'm back with you again, YouTube. I, uh, as you see, it was pretty nice and sunny out today. It's 72 in here now. Um, I'm not going to try to even start this up. I, for over the last, uh, since I made the video the other day, I tried to uh, start this up a couple, three times, and each time it came right on. No problem. So, uh, in the meantime, I decided to take a look at the dial string problem. Or rather, I should say the uh, lack of a dial pointer. And to my surprise, I have found that there is no dial pointer. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but it is just not there. You can probably see this clamp here. What happened was when I took this all apart to work on the dial pointer, this uh, there's a plastic blue plastic uh, filter behind that it kept falling out I tried to push it back in there and get that back in without having to re-glue it but in the end I had to re-glue it so I took this uh, little clamp and put over it just to uh, add some rigidity to it while I was setting up and that's done now that was uh, done that first day when I made that video so it's had a day and a half to set up, so it should be good and set. Um, a little bit difficult to see, but this... Uh, there we go. These little uh, plastic ends here um, go into these holes here and uh, hold this, or basically go between this and this for the uh, holding that in. And that's probably what I'll be doing next is getting that back in and uh, attaching this uh, dial plate, whatever you want to call it, back on. But on the uh, dial plate, uh, or the dial uh, pointer, <laughs> you know, I don't know exactly how it got out of there unless someone else has gotten in here and worked on this before I got it. Um, I don't know about Terry. Uh, I don't know. I don't recall if he bought this new or not. Um, he may have, but... Uh, I just uh, it's you know one of these one of these things where um, the dial pointer could not get out of the case without somebody opening it up period so uh, what I'm saying is somebody had to open this up and because the dial pointer is just gone it's just not around anymore it's not there at all and it's kind of difficult to put it back on the uh, string and I'll show you the string here this right here is the string you can see that it moves when you turn the uh, the uh, tuning uh, control so that's where the uh, dial pointer would normally ride on that string and uh, being as it's not there it, uh, it doesn't do that <laughs> so um, like I say without any more explanation. I'll go ahead and put this back together hopefully and I'll bring you back for that. Now I am back with you again. I have the uh, uh, receiver back together as far as the um, faces plate and stuff like that. Let's test it make sure it works. Definitely need to get that uh, volume control cleaned a little bit. As you can hear, it sounds just fine. 
so no change there. I don't know. This is a it's going to be a hard problem to fix. I can I can poke on these boards till I'm blue in the face and nothing seems to happen. I did notice when I moved it around a little bit as far as flexing it certain ways, it will go out, but it takes us just a perfect do flex to do that. And I don't know. Anyway, that part of it's uh, done. Um, turn this off. Um, let me get this turned around a little bit. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm waiting uh, for my freeze for freeze spray to come in, and once that comes in, I can use that to uh, try to localize that uh, bad solder joint or bad connection, whatever it is. Uh, it's uh, obviously something very minute. Um, I'm sure, pretty sure that uh, the trip up here is what uh, caused it to, to do that, but it just wasn't a very big crack or anything like that. So, Anywho, uh, this is going to be a fairly short video. I uh, I don't know what else I can do with it. Um, besides leave it set or get cold. If I had room in the freezer, I'd put it in the freezer, but I don't really have room in there. Um, I'm going to leave it apart like it is um, until I uh, I get this fixed because there's no sense putting it all back together and just so I'd have to take it all back apart. So it will take the... Uh, I can set it down off the bench and set it off to the side, but for now it's the way it is and that's all she wrote. So until I have further to report, I will leave you be and you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.